Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how I made a homemade universal cuff. As most of you know, a universal cuff is a piece of adaptive equipment that's worn on the hand to help an individual hold items such as eating utensils or grooming supplies to promote independence in ADLs and IADLs. This piece of equipment is especially helpful for people with limited or weak grip and limited dexterity. The piece of equipment can be used with persons with um, some of the following conditions, and this is not an exhaustive list. So it could be used with people who have cerebral palsy, um, stroke or hemiplegia, rheumatoid arthritis, spasticity, tremors, or quadriplegia. And as I briefly mentioned in the definition of um, a universal cuff, the cuff can be useful for several different occupations. It can be helpful for self-feeding, so a person may choose to put their fork or spoon in the cuff. It can also be helpful for grooming as it can hold a toothbrush, a razor, or a hairbrush. Um, and then it can also be useful for meal preparation because it can hold spatulas or spoons. And then lastly, it can be useful for occupations that involve writing as the person can put a pen or pencil inside the cuff. So as most of you are probably aware, there are several com commercially available products for the universal cuff. And doing just a simple search on Amazon brings up a variety of products that are available that range in prices from approximately $9 and up. So the picture on the left is the Easy Hold Universal Cuff, and this is just a silicone cuff that can slide onto a handle. Um, and it comes in a variety of sizes and colors so that it can be used with different tools. Then the cuff on the right is the Norco Universal Cuff. And again, um, just a cuff that we've all probably seen several different times. So the problem that I saw with some of these commercially available products is that you might not be able to slip different utensils in because of the width. So I wanted to create something that would provide versatility for different occupations. So that something like a spoon could go in, but then also something like a hairbrush could fit in there as well. So that's one of the differences that you'll see in the cuff that I made. So because I did not have access to a commercially available universal cuff, this is just a video that I found on YouTube of an individual with quadriplegia using the universal cuff for self-feeding. And there he just demonstrates the ease with which he can slide the cuff on and off and also participate in the occupation of feeding. Now I'm going to move into a discussion on my homemade universal cuff. The homemade universal cuff that I made was sewn and I used products that I had in my home which included a scrap of fabric, a scrap of batting, some velcro, and some elastic. And although I have these materials in my home, they can be easily purchased at a Joann Fabrics for relatively cheap. So to start, I cut two big rectangles about 3 inches by 7 inches and one small rectangle about 3 inches by 4 inches out of both the fabric and the batting. Then I layered each rectangle of fabric with a layer of batting. So then the first step of sewing was to fold the small rectangle in half and to sew it so that there was sort of a pocket at the bottom, which is where the end of the utensil can slip into. Then once I sewed that on, I cut two pieces of elastic to the width of the rectangle and I pinned them on just above the pocket. So this would serve as where the handle of the uh, utensil would slide in. After I pinned on the elastic and the pocket was on, I stacked the two pieces of um, long, bigger rectangles together to create sort of a sandwich um, so that the when I sewed it, then when I turned it right side, the um, fabric would be on the outside. So I created this sandwich and put the rectangles together and I sewed around the two long edges and one short edge. And after I sewed around th those three edges, I flipped it inside back, um, inside out so that the fabric was on the outside. And um, essentially I had the basis of my cuff then. So then after I did that, I cut off the excess fabric at the top of the cuff above the elastic so that it would be about the width of a client's hand. Um, after doing this, I sewed around the edges to um, sort of flatten out the cuff and to make sure that the elastic was tight. 
after all of that was complete, I cut two pieces of um, Velcro, one hard and one soft, and I placed the hard Velcro facing up on the bottom, um, the bottom side near the pocket, and I placed the soft Velcro facing down at the top. And so this would then allow the client to um, have the harder facing out to create, to allow it to be more comfortable, and the soft fabric just went down over top to create that cuff. And even though I used Velcro um, and I didn't use a D-ring, it could be something that once it's fit to the client's hand, they could just slide it in and off. They wouldn't need to use the Velcro. Um, so once the Velcro was placed, I then sewed it in so that it would be secure. So after that, I cut around the Velcro to make sure it was an appropriate size and I rounded the edges to allow for comfort. Now I'm going to move into a brief demonstration of using the universal cuff during occupations. First, I used the universal cuff during meal preparation. And as you can see, the universal cuff was already fitted to my hand, so I did not need to adjust the Velcro and I could easily slide it on to stir. In this case, the universal cuff is facing down so that I can complete the occupation of stirring um, and cooking, but later it will be facing up while I do hair brushing. Next, I'm going to show you um, handwriting. And again, the universal cuff was already fitted to my hand, so I could easily slide it in and slide the pen into the cuff. One thing that is unique about the design I created is that the elastic allows for utensils with a variety of different size handles to be used. So something with a thicker handle like a hairbrush can be used, but so can something smaller like a pen or a pencil. And then lastly, I would just like to note that this cuff can still be created even if an individual does not have sewing experience as they can use something like fabric glue. So this is the last portion of my video and this time I have my um, universal cuff with my hairbrush. And so if the client is not just slipping it on, they would just simply put the Velcro up over and strap it off. But then once it's set, it's pretty easy for them to just slide it on and off. And so then as you can see, I don't need any grip to be able to use this and I'm able to brush my hair. And if they had limited range of motion in their shoulder, they could still sort of bend their elbow with it, take it around, they could get both sides and this would fit on both hands. So if they needed to switch it over, they could simply do that and be able to brush the other side of their hair. So that's my video and thank you for watching.